Yo ho, yo ho, sir, life for me. Well, hello, I'm National Freak. I am holding Daisy, my dog, today because she won't stop barking. So I'm trying to keep her calm. So don't mind her if she's in the video. I love you too. I love you too. So I'm doing another server life. Uh, recent. I've actually had quite a few of these recently, but this one is the most recent one that's happened to me. So today's Thanksgiving, so when this happened was the day before Thanksgiving, which was yesterday. Uh, we had four people scheduled, and we work at a breakfast restaurant, so we don't need that many people scheduled. Normally on the weekdays, you have about three people scheduled. So there was four people scheduled in case it got kind of busy, which it did. It got incredibly busy. So we're all, all four of us are scheduled. We're all running around. We're all doing our thing. And I've got this one lady, and she sits at this one table. And this table I get has been known for having people who complain. And it's happened every time I get a table at this table. No matter how many people it is, no matter who they are, or what they're ordering, or whatever, they always, it's always going to complain about something. So I'm like, okay, whatever, I know they're going to complain, so I'm just going to deal with it. It's a mom, a baby, and the grandmother. And they're all sitting down, they're all eating, and they order, they get their drinks, everything's fine. And I get their food ready, and I do my thing, get to more tables, and their food comes out. And I ask them, how is it? Everything look okay? And they said, oh yeah, it looks fine. I said, you gonna be needing anything else? More drinks? More condiments? Anything? And they go, no, we're good. And I go, okay. Y'all enjoy your food. And I walk away. I continue to work, do my job, come back about five, six minutes later, halfway done with their food. I said, you guys still doing okay? Need anything else while I was away? Everything tastes good? And they said, oh yeah, everything's fine. And I said, okay, do y'all need any refills on your drinks? And they said, no, we're good. And I said, okay. So, what had happened with this table is um, they had ordered coffee at the beginning. And I had to brew some new coffee because we had just ran out. So I let them know. And coffee averagely takes about three minutes to brew an entire, like, two gallons of it. Was I had forgotten about it because I had gotten three more tables since then. So whenever I brought their food out initially, they said, oh yeah, we need that coffee. I said, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I completely forgot. I put all the blame on myself. I said, that was my fault, I'm so sorry, that was all me. So I brought their coffee out quickly, I ran it out to them. Again, I apologized, I said, I'm so sorry, I should have remembered, I was pretty busy. And the, and the grandmother, who was at the table, she said, no, it's okay, it's no big deal. And I said, okay, well, again, I'm sorry. I walk away. I'm in the back, doing more of my job, rolling silverware, putting up dishes, putting up glasses, wiping off counters and all that junk whenever Cheyenne comes up to me and goes, hey, did table eight complain to you? And I said, no, they seemed perfectly fine. And Cheyenne says, well, whenever they went up to the front to pay, they complained. And I said, oh, well, what did they say? What did I do? And she said that this mom said that she had had the worst breakfast of her entire life. I was in shock. I'm like, she didn't say anything. So Cheyenne said, this is exactly what she said. The lady went up to pay, and the manager who was cashing out said, how was everything? And she said it was the lousiest breakfast she had ever had. The service was completely horrible, and the food tasted disgusting. So Andrew's like, oh, I'm so sorry. And she's like, yeah. And the coffee that he forgot to bring tasted so bad that she almost threw up. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know any of that. So when Cheyenne came and told me this, I was fuming mad. Because I had checked on them. I had asked them how their meal was going. They didn't say anything. To hear that they insulted my service and the quality of service and meal that they had was horrible and they wanted to throw up and that I wasn't attentive and that I forgot to bring their coffee. One, that's a lie. I may have forgot to bring it quickly, but I did bring it. Second, I can't fix the problem if you don't tell me. And this applies to any server at any restaurant. And if anyone else watching this is a server, you know what I'm talking about. You have those people that come in and you seem, they seem like they're great. You may even feel like they're not having the greatest time, but hey, they're okay. They're not complaining. But when they leave, they complain and they say it was horrible and they say the service was horrible. We don't read your mind. We can't fix problems if we don't know what they are. 
You can't sit there and complain about stuff that could have been fixed if you didn't tell anybody about it. It really makes me upset that people are so ignorant to just talk to the server. They immediately have to go to, I'm so pissed, I want the manager right now. Whenever the server is completely capable of fixing your problem. I mean, come on, it's food. We can make you more food. It's no problem. It just depends on who's the manager, depending on what discount, what comp you're going to get. The server's just there to get you your food. So tell the server your problems, because they're not going to know it for you. It it's, makes me upset that people don't do that. It makes me look like the stupid one whenever they go up to pay, when my manager is checking people out, and they complain to her, making me look bad. And I know some managers understand that people are like that. My manager is extremely understandable when it come, people come to that because they know people don't talk to the server or whatever, and they always go to the manager, so she's all cool about it, so it's no big deal. But in other restaurants, other managers might not be so happy about that. They might make you, they might put it on your record or make you do extra stuff because you did a bad job. Whenever it clearly wasn't your fault, it was their fault for not expressing that to you. You couldn't get the problem fixed because you didn't know what it was. So that's my rant on that story. Moral of it, tell the server your problem. We don't know it. Tell us and we can fix it. We'd be happy to make you happy because if you're happy, we gets money. Okay? It's our job. Also, a quick side note, she didn't leave me a tip either. Because, again, she stole my paycheck. She stole my paycheck. So that wraps up the server life. I hope any servers watching this can sympathize with me in saying that people suck. People suck. Everybody sucks. Even me. I suck too. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Google Plus to get updates about stuffs. Also, if you want to become a partner with Freedom, just check out this link and get a referral from me because I'm awesome. So remember to subscribe, like, and tell your friends. See ya!